All right, welcome to part seven. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like the video so it, the channel grows. And we will get started. So last video, we set up the flash message mechanism. And in this one, we are actually going to um, start styling um, things so that um, our Twitter looks a little, little bit better. Um, start looking a little bit like um, uh, Twitter. So, you know, one thing I wish um, Twitter had was um, like in-app light mode and dark mode because I have to keep flipping my uh, OS 10 or Mac OS from light to dark mode to get it to the light mode. So it's a little, little annoying. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> Can subscribe for Twitter Blue now, which is, I guess, it really is eight dollars a month. Um, but um, we're gonna start styling things. So let's first. Well, okay. First of all, this looks like it's a three-column uh, thing, right? So let's actually set that up first. So in the big, like up here, we have pretty much nothing. We have the we are logged in, log out create tweet our first tweet so we don't have anything so first let's go to bootstrap and then um, let's go to uh, different layouts um, I actually don't know anything like much about bootstrap so lay, I'm just gonna go through these and it looks like they do have a grid system um, so if we Okay, they also have a column system. It looks like it's kind of the same. Hold on, row, column, six, column. Um, there's also a gutter. Hold on. Okay. I think just the regular column system will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up... Um, Visual Studio, go to App, Views, um, where is this? Dashboard, Index, and we'll set it up like this. We'll get rid of this, we are logged in. And um, I'm gonna keep the log out here. Actually, I'm just gonna put this inside its own container and we'll move the form up here as well we'll save and we'll actually move the um, the list of tweets here load and it looks like we have these three columns that are separate, which is what we want. If we inspect this element, you can see that um, we are at least building how the column should look like. Um, and so in this column, what I want is I want a list of options, so like links. Um, here is where the tweets will go and also I guess the tweet form and um, on the right is it looks like there's a search bar and also the um, I guess like stuff that's trending who to follow if you click show more you get um, get a list of people I guess um, okay all right, so let's, and I guess at the bottom of this, um, you can, um, you get this, I guess like a link that has a, like a pop out where you can log out. So, all right, and then you have a logo here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start 
moving this list of tweets into the um, center column like this and I will also move the the new tweet form inside to the center column and I'll move the uh, logout link to the first column we'll save that and I mean it still looks ugly but it's better than um, before uh, well no it's not better it still looks ugly so if I look here I kind of want the center column to be a little bit wider but um, a little bit wider but hold on but we'll figure that out as we go I'm sure there's a bootstrappy way to do it but I just don't know off the top of my head uh, and it looks like the regular column gives you just automatic padding which yeah, I mean I guess it, it kind of makes sense um, and I also want to get rid of this text center see what that looks like and it looks fine all right so let's get rid of this text center reload and let's start filling out some of the links that we want to use so I want the home link I want the um, do I need explore maybe all right notifications um, don't think I'm gonna build a messaging system I don't really need I don't think it's particularly necessary although maybe maybe I'll think about it um, bookmarks well no, we're not doing Twitter view <laughs> profile um, and I guess there's some more stuff but we'll just um, well, I guess there's settings as well um, so let's let's start with the basics and see how we go so first one is first of all these are basically lists right and I want to see if bootstrap has a style that allows us to put icons next to one another so accordion I'm guessing that's not it alerts badge um, Group, maybe no card carousel. Don't need that. Close button collapse. Drop down to this group. I want to see what drop downs look like. All right. We do need this for later. Pagination, placeholders, pop boys. All right. I think really all we have to do is um, here we'll have. Just have them as separate divs. So something like span home icon home like this, and we will. Well, we need these icons, right? So I 
there are these icons that we can use and they're free so Actually, let me log in. All right. Maybe just download it. If I look at this, ah, you need a premium account for the SVG. So I don't think I need the um, 512 pixel version. So I'll just get the 128 like this. And if I look at that, it's gonna say, downloads home.png to app images. Actually, I'll just move it. If we do that, um, and I do like image tag home.png, looks fine. Although I think the size has to be, maybe width should be 25, 25. Yeah. And I want this to be kind of like split, have a little bit of spacing and also vertically aligned. The thing is, I don't, I'm not familiar with, um, with any of these uh, classes, bootstrap classes, max. Okay, so justify, deflex, align items, center. It's like I'm relearning. Okay, I think that looks a little little better, right? And I guess I can give this span a margin right of 15 pixels and things look a lot better. And I can also put this in a span or I can say text large or is it maybe Excel? What is, what is the font size in, um, hold on, font size in Bootstrap, uh, FS3, maybe, yeah, some of these class names are not something I'm used to. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, so here, here's what we'll do. We will set the f set it to four, and put margin right of two in this span or four. it was a margin 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 me that's that's kind of weird okay I think four is a little much maybe two How about three I think three looks pretty good I think maybe the width should go up a bit so that the icon is a little bigger. 
So maybe we'll set it to 32 instead of, instead of um, 25. Okay. And even at that, like you can see that it doesn't look exactly correct. Like the, even with the flex um, align item center class, it doesn't look like they're completely in aligned. So I think what I can do is like, if you look at, if you look at this house icon, um, it sits at the bottom and I think that's why it looks a little, little off. So maybe I can move this to a little up like that. It's not ideal, but I think for this, it's an, it's, it's fine. Okay, cool. I think it looks okay. And let me get rid of the, where's the column text? I thought there was another one. Uh, let me get rid of this extra column text and let's do this. If we do this, we have a whole bunch of home menus, right? Actually, I think this can be a little bit wider. Yeah. Can get the margin end to four. And I think that looks a little bit more correct. And um, I think we'll have margin bottoms. So let's see, spacing, margin bottom. So we'll set margin bottom, maybe four, see what that looks like. Mm, let's try three. I think three looks pretty good. Ah, let's go with four, who cares? Um, and then we will, I mean, definitely we're gonna have profile, right? Um, and we will have, we'll definitely have profile. We'll have, I mean, do we need explore? Maybe we'll have notifications. Okay, maybe we'll have explore, notifications, um, messages, bookmarks, profile is a definite, and Yeah, we'll have a, maybe we'll have like a tweet button. Tweet. Like this. And the tweet button should be button with the class of button button rounded. Let's see, border rate. Let's look at borders. Rounded, it should be a rounded pill. Then primary should be a rounded pill like that. And it should be a large button. 
or maybe can it be like a really large button no it's just can be a large button like that and I'm wondering yeah like that and the log out button I actually want that to be like a profile thing maybe we'll do that in a separate video I think this just styling this will be multiple videos so maybe in this video the thing that we should be doing is um like putting this icon and um replacing these icons maybe yeah so let's get the twitter icon We'll get this. We'll move it to our images folder. Twitter PNG here, get rid of the text, and we'll actually, instead of making this into a div, should be an anchor tag so that it is clickable like that. Yeah, and actually, should be a link to path give it a class like that okay and the same should be the case for the rest and actually say hover I want that to be the the case. I want all of these to be technically clickable. So let's set that like like that. Like this.
explore notifications, messages, bookmarks, and profile. Like this, we'll get rid of all of the old divs. And you can see that now everything is highlighted to blue, all the text, because they're technically links. But what I want is the links to not have the underlines. So I think what we have to do is here, we'll have to say padding Y2, give it a little bit of padding. And in this column, I'm gonna say this is, I'm gonna give this a class. I'm gonna say that this is um, nav bar. And this is actually not a div, it's an aside. Just being semantic here. And we'll call this a nav bar like this. And I'm actually now going to start creating some style sheets. So I'm gonna say nav bar class and we'll say we'll target nav bar like this and why is that like that all right and we'll try setting the background color to black to see if that gets targeted i don't think it will something's broken Maybe, maybe it can't be in the side. Maybe it has to be a, a div for Bootstrap to take notice. Maybe not. Ah, okay. I know why. Um, because navbar is um, is a reserved keyword. So we'll call this side. Call this um, side nav bar. I really like being verbal, but okay. So side nav bar, and the background color isn't taken. It's not taken effect because we have to import it here. Um, and I'm gonna import the nav bar style sheet, and you can now see that it's taking effect which is good. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this an ID of Twitter logo. Link. No, wait. I'm gonna say, All of the links, um, when they are hovering within the side nav bar, I want them to right. 
I want them to have a background. So background color of gray, like that. Um, yes, so background color of well, basically light gray. I'm sure Bootstrap has a lot of colors I can use. How do I use the... Um, But these are all the colors, so I, maybe I can use gray 400. Maybe gray 300. Maybe 200. I think that looks a lot better. And, um,. I want the I want it to have a little bit more like like I don't want the background to take up the whole width so I want um I don't know I haven't written like proper CSS in a while so I actually can't think of like an intelligent way doing this so maybe if I wrap the inside one with a div Okay, that's a lot better. So what I just did there is I wrapped the inner, I wrapped the anchor tag and I put a div inside it. Um, and then I am putting a background color on that div. So um, that makes it so that the background hover is only on the content itself. And from here, what I'm gonna do is, from here, what I will do is put a padding in the, in the div. So if I put padding left, I don't know, 10 pixels. Okay, so I'll have to put padding. All right, so what I'll do is I'll put, I'll wrap all of these with divs.
save and then put in the divs itself put a padding x of 2 and padding y of 2 and actually padding x of 3 and close it okay and then make the div a rounded pill. If we do that, we get these nice little, um, I mean, it, it's very similar to Twitter, right? Except in Twitter, it, look, it looks like the padding's a little bit more roomy. So we'll give our padding X into a four we do that it looks a little bit more roomy and which means that we have to give put our Twitter one Twitter link into a div as well and give it the same class except instead of rounded pill I think for the Twitter one, because it's a just a circle, not a pill. It, I think it's yeah, it's rounded circle instead of rounded pill. And if we put the Twitter image tag like this, actually for the Twitter one, we don't need a an extra span in there and maybe put x4 padding y4 and then padding y i guess four as well in this case um it, it'll look a lot better but for twitter it looks kind of a little too big um so maybe two maybe just two Maybe for Twitter, it's not, not really is necessary. Hmm. You know, one thing I just noticed when the drop thingy, like it comes, And actually, since we added the padding, um, the margins probably, these margin bottoms probably don't become too necessary. Or they can be um, smaller margins, like margin bottom two or three. Like this. Or two. Let's try two again. And I don't like the size of this. What if I make it two? Looks a lot better. But I think if that's the case, this needs we need to add padding X two on the top div. on the anchor tag or at least the three I think that looks a lot better okay so here we'll say padding x three like that and these will be twos okay I think that looks a lot better and actually the the font text now that I look at it, I think that maybe it should be a little bit smaller, like a five. I think that looks better. And the last thing is, is let's actually move the tweet button as well. Let's give that, um, you know, an 
other sheet. I mean, the tweet button doesn't have to be, you know, inside a div because it's just a button. But if we give it a padding of four, then it moves um, in alignment with the rest of the links. And um, the last thing is the bookmarks text is a little, little big. I don't know what happened there. Ah, this is a five. This is a five. And it should be a margin bottom two there. Margin bottom two there. There should also be a margin bottom two. And this looks a lot better, right? And now the last thing I want to do for this video is um, I want to get rid of, well, there are two more things. I, I want to change the text color and get rid of the underline. So for the anchor tags, I want to say text decoration none, right? No. Ah, okay, perfect. And the font color and the text color to be just black. You know, there we go. And also the last thing is is when the when these like background colors show up, I kind of want um, them to kind of fade in and fade out. So CSS hover fade in and out and maybe you can do this in I don't know maybe you can do this within bootstrap but I'm actually not sure let's see fade in fade effect oh you can fade cool let me let me try adding this to these uh, rounded so let's add it this right here. And now it's completely gone. So maybe it's not maybe it's not fade. I don't know. But instead of doing that, we can just add it to our um our CSS. So we'll just add the these like transitions to the hover and the regular okay, these are the styles for the hover. And for the non hover I see. So it's basically like that. And none of the transitions and opacity within hover. So if we do it that way, there we go. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I like that. But maybe I want it to be 0 0.1 second, maybe a little bit faster. Yeah, I honestly can't tell the difference. Um, so I think um, this video has gone long enough. I think um, I think maybe like styling this will take a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated. So in the next one, maybe we'll um, switch out all the icons and, and perhaps work on this as well. Or maybe we'll switch out the icons as we develop.
um, but maybe we'll wa we'll um, work on this little little thing. So, all right. Um, um, thanks for watching, and if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like the video, and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, follow up one.